This adapter is supposed to convert a regular lamp into a touch lamp, but it only works on very few lamps. I'll explain. This adapter only works in a metal light socket, which rules out most lamps, including this one. This is a relatively new lamp and the socket itself is plastic. As it turns out, this is the only lamp in our house that this adapter is going to work on. This is the oldest lamp in our house, but it does have a metal light socket. And as you can see, it does have some other metal pieces coming down until it becomes wood. This means we'll be able to have the touch feature work, not just when we touch the light socket, but also on these other metal parts. Once you have the right kind of lamp to use this device, you also need to know what kind of light bulb can and cannot work with this device. One of the most common light bulbs today is a non-dimmable LED light bulb. And if you're using this kind of light bulb with this device, it will not work. Incandescent bulbs will work. They're not as common these days, but you can still find them. If you're using an incandescent bulb, a three-way bulb will work, or so will a regular bulb. This adapter converts any incandescent bulb into a three-way bulb. Even though the package says use incandescent bulbs only, we have found another bulb that works too. This is an LED bulb, but it is a dimmable or variable bulb. Now I'll show you how it all works. Screw in the adapter. Here's just a regular incandescent light bulb. Find the on position by spinning the switch once and then touching it once. If it doesn't come on with the first touch, spin to the next position and try touching again. This is the low setting. Now we'll touch it twice more and it should get bright two more times. One, two. Remember, this is a regular incandescent bulb. You can use a three-way bulb, but you don't need one. You can use a regular incandescent bulb and get three levels of brightness with this converter. Now we're gonna switch to an LED bulb, and this is a dimmable LED bulb. This is a 17 watt dimmable LED bulb, and it is bright. Most people don't know this, but statistics are clear. 100 watt incandescent light bulbs are dangerous, and that is why they're getting phased out. Using a bulb with higher wattage than this is a very common cause of house fires. I'll explain. Everybody laughs, but the manufacturers put that warning on there for a reason, and it has to do with this right here. This wire is only rated for 60 watts, just like the label says. What happens to a wire when it's been abused with too much wattage for too long? Over time, the insulation around that wire deteriorates even though you cannot tell just by looking at it. Just because you can't see a crack in the insulation of the cord doesn't mean there's not deterioration that has happened because of the abuse of wattage going through it. Most electricians have a tool to test the integrity of the insulation on cords, and it's called a megometer. If you think your lamp might have been abused like this, have the wire checked or just buy a new lamp. Now you know why the label is there. And now our touch light works.